Hello and welcome to Wild Fox Build. And today I am going to be opening and building the Lego Friends Heart Like Hair Salon or set 41391. I'm really excited to build this set. I know it just retired or a couple, maybe a couple months ago, but I did manage to get my hands on it. So I'm really excited to build this set because it looks like a load of fun and has pretty awesome characters. Pieces before sorting in the first pack and then boom after sorting so this set has two bags and this first bag is only extra things not the actual hair salon so yeah these are all the pieces in the first bag so let's get building all right so first before i even build the characters i just wanted to show you the instruction book because something is different about this instruction book like it has giant pictures of characters it has like this line showing how far along you are and like it has like images. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it, but I've just never seen it before. And I haven't seen it in more recent sets or anything. There could be other sets, but as far as I know, I've only ever seen this set with those weird instructions. Okay, so now we're on to the characters. And the first character is Emma, and she is wearing a light aqua or minty colored skirt with a light aqua, cute, really cute top with some flamingos on it, making a heart with their necks. It's just amazing and then she also just has her typical emma head and hair so this is emma and i really love her outfit i think it's amazing and then she also gets to get a phone and then onto the next character which is a new character wearing this pink skirt with some nice blue little shoes and then she has a blue frilly top with a pink and she's wearing scissors around her neck and this is a very Olivia colour scheme type costume, but or clothes, but this is Nina. So this is Nina. I think those clothes could probably go well on Olivia as well, but these are both of our characters included in this set. So let's get on with the building. So the first thing that we're going to be building is a little sink to wash your hair in at the hair salon. So we have a little purple circle and now we're gonna use a clamshell as the sink, which is just amazing. We have some golden taps and then we're also gonna put a bit of water in the sink. I like this build, I don't know what else to say. Now we're onto the next little build and this is a chair, a nice little comfy chair for the hair salon. So it has a beautiful blue back and then it has some really, well, comfortable looking posh, plush, uh, magenta seats with that even have cute little fluffy armrests. I mean, they're not fluffy, rounded domed armrests to make it seem really fancy. And also it looks really comfortable. I would like to sit on this. And the headrest can also go backwards or forwards, which I just think is a really nice touch as Nina is demonstrating now, they work like chairs. So now we're onto this next thing, which is a bit of a storage compartment for the hair salon. So it gets some wheels that go on the bottom of it. And then it gets a nice stick to poke up to put all of these little claws on to store all the hair salon needs. And because it's on wheels, it can roll around everywhere with Nina. And so first of all, we have a buildable hairdryer, which is just a really awesome build. I think it's just really nice and it works. Oh, I mean, it looks like a hairdryer. And we also have this brush over here, nothing new. Definitely not new, it's been around for ages. And then we also have a spray bottle of water to maybe like dampen the hair and some scissors. So this is the storage trolley. And now onto this next build, which is another chair. Well, it has a very similar design for the base as the first one, but with its headrest, it has an extra hook, I suppose. See, it's like hooked on both sides, so it's normal like that, but it also has something extra that makes it different from the last chair. But it does have the same beautiful armrests that are really pretty and then just a nice build and this like great use of the like those 
under pieces. They're normally used for making removable roofs, and now we're using it as chairs. It's nice part usage. So this is the chair where it stopped last time, but this one gets an extra little thing as a hairdryer thing. So it hangs over the chair, or like, it's not a hairdryer, I think it like sets your hair. So as Emma is demonstrating, it does look pretty cool. You have to take off your hair to try it out though, unfortunately, otherwise it doesn't work. And now this is the final thing that is built in this bag. So it's just a little, well, this is actually the biggest thing we've built so far, this bag, but it is a little area, I suppose. So we're gonna need this and we're gonna cover it in pink because for the color scheme of this set, it is very pink, purple, and blue. And now we're using some pin holders. I think that is what they're called. They're called pin holders. And then on those pin holders, well, we're gonna leave that because that comes later. So we're also rounding it over with these white little pieces. And then on top, we have some gold jumper plates with jumper plates, yep, with some telescopes that we're using as wig stands for this pink beehive and some smooth, shiny black hair. And then on the pin holders, we have a bow, a flower, a crown, and some sunglasses. So this is a little demonstration area. So this is everything we have for this bag, time for bag two. These are all the pieces in bag two before sorting, and then boom, all the pieces in bag two after sorting. There's a lot more pieces in this bag because in one bag we're single-handedly building the whole Heslon. So that's a good look at the pieces, and now let's actually build the hair salon. So first of all, of course, we have to build the base with these tan base plates that have been joined together with a smooth tan bit. And then we're putting on some blue jumper plates and we're making some purple wheels walls with a little silver stud. And then we have our first sticker, which is a mirror, and it has a really pretty pink patterning. And as Emma just demonstrated, it is actually reflective. So I think that's pretty cool, because I do like the actual reflectiveness of the mirror. And the sticker is just really pretty. And then we have another jumper plate over here. And then we also get a little love heart cookie and some grapes to sit on here, presumably to eat while you get your hair done, which is quite sweet. And now we are going to build the doormat that'll just sit at the front, welcoming all the guests into the hair salon. So that just clips on right there. And then we get the door, which has an open sticker on it, which I've always thought is kind of funny. Like it's always open permanently. Maybe there should be like a closed sticker on the back so like you can just swap the door around when it's closed. But it's still a cute sticker for a cute door, and the mat is also continued inside, which I think is a nice touch. Now we have a purple and pink bottle that are just going on the shelf here, maybe like shampoos or conditioners. I'm not quite sure, just mystery hair products, mystery hair products. And now we get to build this cute little blue and magenta arch or awning. Actually, it's not an arch, it's an awning. And actually, I put them on the wrong way around, so this is how it's supposed to look. And then we can just finish it off. And this just clips on up here. Okay, so next we are building just some more of the architecture, building it all up, mostly with white, but we have a little gray brick, and gray piece in that. I'm not actually sure why we do. It could be for a special purpose, but I'm fairly sure we already have that brick in the white color, so it's probably there for like a special purpose. Then we also have this glass panel, and we're going for the purple line at the bottom of the wall, and then building it up with white. We have a white little pillar thing here that'll just go next to that panel. If I can get these to go straight, it's gonna have to do. And then we get this barber's pole thing like this 
twisty thing that goes outside the barber's bowl, but this version is white and pink and blue and silver, which is, I think, the no- which fits at the colour scheme. And I think the normal barber's bowl is, like, white, blue and red. I don't really know. And now we have a cute little cash register with $100 notes and a five cent. I'm going to call that $5 because five cents is ridiculously small. So I'm going to say this hair salon appointment could cost $95 and you get $5 change. Because I, like, five cents is so small and $100 is so big. So that's why I like to call, well, I think that's a five cents. Maybe it could be just a $5 note and I've just been wrong this whole time. But I'm just going to call that a $5 coin, which is kind of weird, but it makes a bit more sense than paying $100 and getting five cents. And then up here we have a magenta roof. And we're building up for the centerpiece on the roof, which will come later, or very soon actually, I think. So yeah, we're adding that magenta line on the top of the roof. And then we have this other sticker, which is a sign for the hairdressers. It probably has like one of their successful clients, I guess, because it doesn't really look like Nina or Emma. So probably just a good hair style that they've made. And let's clip this on. Oh, it fell down. Let's look at it in slow-mo. Yeah, it fell. Okay, so now we're just going to get right back on track. We're going to completely ignore that it fell because I picked it back up. And now we're keeping on with building. We're going to smooth off this top. And now we're going to build some scissors, which is the top of our hair salon. So these ones are going to be light blue. And they kind of look like child scissors, if I'm going to be honest. They look like the things that chew up paper and don't really chop it properly. But it just clips on like this, not like that. And now we have a cute little emblem for the top. And now we're back inside adding on a jumper plate up here with some green foliage with a lovely yellow flower. And then we also have some green foliage over here with another yellow flower. I think they're matching. And now we're going to plug them in with some plants. That will just secure it nicely. And now we have a TV sticker with two people on them holding cupcakes. Not really sure what's going on, but it's a cute TV and it's a cute sticker. So, yeah. And this just goes up here. So the customers can have something to watch while they are getting their hair done. And now we have a machine that looks like it's gonna make drinks. This could be a coffee machine, I think it is. And this, it's a lovely yellow color. And that just plugs there. And because it's on a jumper plate, it is removable. And now we have a broom over here for sweeping up all of the hair that gets chopped off. And two magazines, one that says HLC and one that says 25. So these just go right here in front of the counter. And then we're adding some of the finishing touches with a fire hydrant out here. And then we also get some cute plants either side of the door. And then this is everything that is in bag two. So you get an empty hair salon, which is why we have to combine it with the contents of bag one. So. I'm sure you could set this up any number of ways, but in my opinion, I think this seat would fit nicely here, and then this seat would fit nicely here, so that it can lean back into the sink and the lotions or mystery hair products can be like shampoo and conditioner. And then this thing, well, I'm not quite sure where to put it, but something that I noticed is that it can fit neatly inside there for easier storage. So this is the whole set. And this is, it can all be set up and removed for easier play access. And it has so many nice details. I think this is absolutely an incredible and amazing set. And I'm really glad I managed to get it because I really enjoy this set. So this is the whole video. So thanks for watching. Bye.